yes good evening students in the previous class we have seen what is meant by a set how the set is represented what are the types of assets right so now in this class let us see uh, what are the laws and the theorems of assets in that the very first important law is what idempotent law let us see what is meant by a idempotent law what we can say we can say that a union a must be equals to a so this is the first law and the second law is if you take intersection between the any two sets that is a itself we will be getting a again let us see how to prove this agree so now let us move on to the actual condition here so if you take any set a what is the first thing if you take a union of a a union a obviously you'll be getting a this is what we need to prove how to prove if you want to prove something what we need to prove two sets are equal when can i say two sets are equal i already told you when can i say two sets are equal if a is subset of b and b is subset of a then only i can say that a must be equals to b so i'll be using the same condition here so first of all what i will do let us consider the left hand side what is left hand side a union a right so let us consider an element from the set a union a what is the meaning of a union a it should be either in first set or it should be in either in second set or the element should belongs to both the sets right so from this i can say x belongs to a or i can say x belongs to a what is the meaning of x belongs to a or x belongs to a x will be in the both the sets right so both are in a right so from this what i can say obviously x will be belongs to a from this what i can say if x is in a union b and x is in a uh, a we can say that a union a must be what subset of a is it okay because x is a some arbitrary x agree in the same way i am using the symbol if and only if what is if and only if represents you can take either ways left hand to right side and the right hand to the left hand side right so from this also i can conclude what a is also subset of a union a why because i am going from the back step is it okay uh, so from this two condition what i can say first set is subset of second one and second one is also subset of first one with the help of the equality of assets i can say that a union a must be equals to a this is the proof here agree so now let us see the second set what is the second law i have taught you here a intersection with a must be equals to a to prove this in the same way i'll be considering the left hand side here so let us take one element that is x belongs to a intersection a agree so what is meaning of intersection intersection means the element should be present in both the sets right so from this i can say x belongs to a and intersection will be represented with and right and x also belongs to a what is the meaning here one element x which is in the set a and a so from this i can conclude x belongs to a agree so if i take any element which is in this set and the same element which is in this set means what i can say this is nothing but a a intersection a is a subset of a with the help of a if and only if statement i can say that a is also subset of a intersection a agree so with the help of the equality of assets i can conclude that a intersection a must be equals to a these are the two important laws that this law is known as a idempotent laws okay thank you yeah we have seen the proof of the two idempotent laws what is that a union a must be equals to a and the second law will be a intersection a must be equals to a so now let us see some examples in that agree so let us consider a set a what is that so that is 1 2 3 agree so what we need to do we need to prove this a union a must be equals to a so let us consider a union a what is the meaning of a union a that will be let us take first set that is a we have to make a union with the same set that is 1 2 3 what is the meaning of union you need to consider all the elements which is there in both the sets so i'll be taking 1 2 3 from the first set and if you go to the second set there is 1 2 3 again should i take this 1 2 3 no so we should not take why why because so set should contain the elements which is distinct so this is our a union a so what is this this is actually nothing but our original set what is that a so i can write it as a a so from this what i can say i can say that a union a must be equals to a alone are you getting my point now let us see how to prove the second what is the second thing i have shown for you a intersection a must be equals to a so let us consider one example here so if i take an example let me write it as a is equals to uh, let us consider 1 2 3 let us take an extra element that is 4 so we need to left hand side what is left hand side a intersection with a so that is i need to write a set i have to take a symbol intersection 
with what a yeah, that is 1 2 3 4 what is the meaning of intersection we already seen what is the meaning of intersection intersection means i need to take the common elements in both the sets right what is the common elements in both the sets one is common yes two is common yes three four each and every element is common right so I'll be taking the same, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Agree? So if you look into our question, this is nothing but our A. So I can say that this must be equals to A. From this what I can I have I can say A intersection A must be equals to A. So this is the example for the two idempotent class. Okay. Thank you for today.